Yo, hello, I'm Sadiki, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on setting up Speed Academy in order to submit to the Jedi Academy leaderboards, since um, when the actual tutorial was made, uh, Speed Academy wasn't a thing, and also the leaderboards were arranged in a different way. I want to give you an update so that you don't get confused and everything. So when you go to speedrun.com slash jka nowadays, uh, you will see this. So there are two different... Um, things that are popping up here. One is Vanilla and one is Speed Academy. And Vanilla, the old leaderboards of the base game. So this is just a game you can install by using your CD or the Steam version. But this one is not run anymore because of issues with the movement tech. And you might have wondered what the EBCBSG thing means here. I'm going to talk about this in the next video in more detail. But basically, nowadays, people only run Speed Academy. And since you want to be also running that, I want to quickly show you how that works and also how you set up your game accordingly to which category you want to run. As you can see, different people have run different categories. For example, uh, here is an EB run, this is an EB plus CB run. So this is uh, EB standing for elevation boost, CB for crouch boost, SG for spin glitch. There's also runs which use every movement technique. There's one which only use spin glitch. There's only ones which only use elevation boost. Okay, so in order to find out where you get Speed Academy from, you simply go to the Resources uh, tab, which is right here. You click it, and then right here it says Speed Academy. Uh, you click on it, and then you go to this website, which is Sphere's GitHub. And there is the latest release of Speed Academy. It's version 0 0.8. And all you need are these two files. So you need the JA game x86.dll and jasp.exe. As you can see, these are really, really tiny. Just four megs, uh, sorry, five megs in total. You download those and you replace them in your folder. You go to your game data folder and then you replace these two files, and then uh, you're already running with Sweet Academy. And now, in order to run the correct uh, version of the run, so um, of course, as I said earlier, you want to be setting your game up to the pro proper category you're running. Um, all the rules are showcased right here so you need to have CG draw movement restriction one on uh, a plus all the usual display of FPS and everything that you know from the other tutorial and actually if you want to set your game up for the category you want to run which the tutorial encourages you to use elevation boost only uh, since it was done at that time you simply go to the github and then you press here and there you see all the different um, commands that have been put into the game or into the mod by Sphere. And actually there, apart from all the useful stuff, uh, or actually the necessary stuff, there's also useful stuff. For example, the uh, speedrun IL timer and the strafe helper, which I really strongly encourage people to use when they're learning the game. So if you want to find out what that is, that is CG underscore strafe helper center. Uh, sorry, draw strafe helper one. This is what you need to be activating. Okay, and then for the actual movement restrictions, these are these four, um, excuse me, these four commands. And the one thing that should always be on is stick landing. Stick landing means you are running with elevation boost uh, limitations, okay? That means that every time you jump and you jump uphill or downhill, the more of a character model, which I will be discussing in the following videos, uh, you will be losing half of your velocity. Um, and if you want to be running Elevation Boost, this is what you need to be turning on, and this should be turned on. If you turn it off, you run with JDA outcome, Outcast Movement, and this is then a miscellaneous category you can find right here. It's any percent no VRGI, uh, and then all these others should be off. So, disable, so, sorry, on, right? Disable Crouch Boost should be on, so you don't have Crouch Boost enabled, and then Fix Spin Glitch should be on, which will disable Spin Glitch. And these two don't matter for you right now. So this one and this one are deactivating Spoon Glitch and Crouch Boost, respectively. Yeah, and then when you set those up, um, you simply draw the uh, sorry the movement restriction, and then you display it in the top right. As you can see here, if I go to a random run of Speed Academy, um, it is displayed right there. It says EB, which is the correct category, as you can see here. And in the case of, for example, my own run, um, this actually should display SG, and hopefully it does. Let's check it out. Well, it's uh, Twitch loading, so but yeah, it, it will be doing that. See, it says SG right there. 
so yeah there you go i hope that's helpful and in the next video i'm gonna show you what uh, the three movement techniques or what crouch boosting is